Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today during National Survivors of Homicide Victims Awareness Month, a time when the pain and grief of loss should be honored with action. To read the words and the plea of a heartbroken mother in Pennsylvania Five constituent, Molly Collington, who lost her son Sam to gun violence a year ago on November 28, 2021. By all accounts, Sam Collington was a remarkable young man who left an outsized impact on our community. His mother, Molly, shared her story with me earlier this fall when I met with her and her colleagues at Delaware County's Moms Demand Action Chapter. I was deeply moved by her advocacy in the face of unimaginable loss and grief, and I'm sharing her words with her permission now. My name is Molly Collington. I'm Sam Collington's brokenhearted mother. Sam was the best son any mother could ever ask for. He was kind, smart, reliable, and without a doubt, one of the funniest people to ever walk the earth. Sam was murdered on November 28, 2021. The day began with Sam loading up his father's car with clean laundry, some leftover turkey, and supplies to carry him through the rest of the semester. He was returning to his apartment at Temple University after the Thanksgiving weekend. He planned to drop the items off at his apartment, then return home to watch HBO with me, sleep in his own bed, and then take the train back to school Monday morning. That did not happen. Because on his street near his apartment was a career criminal with an illegal gun waiting to steal the car of the next person that drove down the street. The next person was my Eagle Scout son, Sam. Sam was shot four times and died less than 30 minutes later at Temple Hospital. Sam was so knowledgeable about our country and all its history, he knew every single president and could talk for hours about politics. So it was no surprise when he told his father and I that he wanted to study political science at Temple University after high school. His fervor for politics and government started very young. He proudly served as his high school's president for his junior and senior year. During his time at Temple, he served as the president of the Political Science Society, never missing an opportunity to make every day count. He planned to attend law school and study constitutional law. He was an activist. He campaigned for local politicians and interned at City Hall, where he worked with elections. He was responsible for getting hundreds of people registered to vote on and off campus. He was a poll watcher. He even went on a Bernie journey where he rode with fellow Temple students on a school bus to North and South Carolina to campaign for his favorite politician, Bernie Sanders. Sam truly believed in the not me, us mantra, which is why he was so outspoken in his love of politics and striving for a better world. Sam had a larger than life personality. As one of his professors pointed out, it's impossible to be involved in the political science department and not know Sam Collington. He became known on campus as Poli Sam, Sam. To lose a child is the greatest pain any parent can ever experience. Every day my heart breaks all over again. To lose a child like Sam knowing that he was destined for something big is absolutely soul crushing. How his father, sister and I are still st standing seems impossible to believe. He made us better people just by knowing him were destroyed without him, his cheerfulness, his wit, and his intelligence. One of the hardest parts is knowing my son's murder was preventable. Our children should be able to go to school safely. We should not have to worry about making sure they know where the closest exits are at the movie theaters, supermarkets, concerts, and churches. I implore our elected officials to do more, to keep guns out of the wrong hands. We must do better. We have to do better. We are failing our children. They say time heals all wounds, but I can tell you without any doubt whatsoever, not this one. I yield back.